Welcome back everyone. Today is Friday, August 29th, 2025 in Raleigh, North Carolina, and my name is Perry. If you're new around here, this is the Scow Bow Mini Cruiser sailboat that I'm building. It is constructed of PVC foam core between fiberglass skins. This is the foam sandwich construction method. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom-built across oceans. Now, in this episode, what I'm going to be working on is building and installing a electrical box for my sailboat and also installing cabin lighting, among a couple other projects. If you are new around here, please do make sure you subscribe so you can watch the finish up of this build and the launch coming up here soon and following adventures. So with that said, let's get on with work. Well, this morning I'm working on my electrical box. I bought this organizer box for nuts and bolts and stuff. And I'm going to use that as my electrical box. So I've got some components to install. I've got a switch panel and I put a couple, I put an extra USB thing here. And it's got some uh, USB chargers and it came wired up with about three fuses, but I cut those out and did a lot of rewiring back here because I have my own fuse panel here. The little cover. And so this will switch on the charging components, these USB ones, the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. This will be for the anchor light deck lights, fans, and a compass light, and then a spare. So I'm going to start cutting this up. So I've got a battery voltage monitor here and then this switch is on and off for the cabin lights and then I've wired in a rotary selector switch to go from red to amber to white lights. So if you just want to keep it on amber you can turn on and off the lights here. Alright I've got my solar charge controller in here, a fuse box. There's the outside of the panel. After many hours on night watches, both in the Navy and sailing the Caribbean, I learned that having lighting choices is critical. That's why I've installed a system with three selections, red, amber, and white. Red is for when you need to maintain your night vision completely, but sometimes red isn't quite enough light. That's where amber comes in. It's the perfect middle ground. It gives me just enough light to comfortably read a book or identify colors without ruining my night vision. And of course there's the bright white light for when I'm in port or need full visibility in an emergency. This system gives me the right light for the bright moment. Now that I've done as much preliminary wiring as I can in the electrical box, I'm going to attach it to the main bulkhead with three bolts. So I've got my electric box on the wall now, and I've got wiring coming up. So far I've only hooked up the red light. We've got one there, another one here, and then another one over here. And also back here I've run wiring down to the compass for the compass light. So we've got a compass right here. I can easily check when I'm in the rack sleeping. 
This is a 12 volt car fan that I'm gonna adapt for use in the boat on hot summer days. Even though I have the cigarette lighter port that it would fit into, I wanna rewire it right into the switch panel. I have a lithium iron phosphate battery that the folks at Power Queen were kind enough to donate to the project. After a couple months of sitting in my office, it's gone dead. So I'm charging it up with my 100 watt flexible solar panel that I'm going to be putting on the forward deck of the boat. Today I'm going to install the battery. For testing purposes, I know these wires may look a bit small to people who are running bigger equipment, but you have to keep in mind that really all I'm running with this system is uh, LED cabin lights, LED anchor light, some USB charging, a small car style fan, and a compass light. So I don't really have much power needs on here, no refrigeration or AC or any of that crazy stuff. But I do understand the 50 amp breaker I got is too strong. So I'm probably going to replace that with a 15 amp breaker. Now I'm going to set up the line for lashing down the battery so it stays firmly in place. And I'll likely also wedge in some foam here just to keep it from moving around. But if I ever completely rolled over, some lashings would help keep it down. So there's just an example of how I could tie it down using a simple trucker's hitch. Also, as an added measure of security, I've got this hatch that I built to strongly uh, lock down with these G10 latches. So that helps keep everything in here to stay in place in the event of a rollover. Now I'm just gonna finish wiring up my lights. I know probably most people would want to hide all this wiring and think this looks a bit ugly, but I actually really like the exposed wiring. Maybe it's from my days in the Navy, but I just think it looks kind of cool. A little bit more of a working boat look or military boat look. Well, I'm just going to wire up my fan, but I have plain old run out of time for that. But let's check out how these cabin lights work. This switch I installed turns on the panel. So we got all our lights there for the switches. That's good. Then this switch is for cabin lights. Selectors on red. Got one red. Two red. Three red. That's good. And then we can go to amber. Those are good. And lastly white. Those are all working as well. Very cool. And also today I wired up the compass light. So if I turn that on. We got a good light here. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And a big thank you to all you viewers. Almost 100% of the components you saw worked on in this video were given by viewers through the Amazon wish list, except for the lithium battery, which was generously given to me by the Power Queen company. If you'd like to support the channel, a great way to do that is through Patreon. Those guys get to watch one day in advance. And a big thank you to all my Patreon members. As always, a big thank you to John, my loyal viewer who lets me keep the boat on his land. And if nothing else, say you guys leave a nice comment and a like on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mr. Yes. make all preparations for getting underway. Hey, uh, what's that? Home. Home, get back to your station or I'll have you shot from here. Well, shoot!